Yo. What up? Alright. Um, so uh we got another one from Bill Burr. Hmm. Okay, okay. It's been a while since we did some BB. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. Bill Burr. What we got? This is Bill Burr at Bob Golub's uh, comedy show for the deaf. Okay, 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 okay. We just saw Patrice <laughs> doing okay. the same show. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, man. Well, you ready? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Let's go. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? I'm sorry. Okay. Is she wearing the same shirt? No, no. Same shirt? Okay. It's Bob Golub. I think that's the same dude. Who? Because they got like a weekend of it. Oh, he's not here. He's not here. It's a Billy. Okay. She saved everything. She's recording everything. Our next performer is a young man who was a regular out at our club in Los Angeles for a while. Unfortunately, for us, he's moved back to uh, New York City to see his fame and fortune, but uh, I know we'll get him during pilot season. Uh, show his joke, but the pilot season is when they lock the guns for the pilot. No, I anyway, uh, he's a marvelous comedian. He's adorable. You girls are going to take him home and hug him. Please wait till he finishes the show. <laughs> Put your hands together and welcome Mr. Billy Burr. <laughs> They always 
always got to play like a troll or a fairy, biting on somebody's leg. Uh. <laughs> I still call them bitches. I know you're supposed to say little people, but I think that's, that's not worse, don't you? Usually when you switch your name, it's something better. Little people? It's like you're a little person. Yes, you are. Oh, midget. It's a good, it's a, it's a good word. Oh, it's got that itch in there. Oh, midget. You know? Plus, that's like political correctness out of control. You know, like there was no reason to change midget, all right? Midget wasn't a racial slur. They just weren't dragged here from another country, forced to do cartwheels in a circus. Okay, it's just a word. That's a table, that's a chair, and there's midgets. There's no hatred. There's no hatred. There's no... No, see, I don't know who the hell is leading midgets, okay? But they're not doing a good job. See, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to get us to stop laughing at them. But the reality is, it's like, you. they got to get real jobs. You know what I'm saying? Every time I see a midget and he's getting out of a car with 20 of his friends dressed as munchkins, I don't give a shit what you call yourself. I'm gonna laugh at you. You gotta get like a cubicle. Some sort of customer service job, you know what I'm saying? Why are you guys all acting like you never laughed at a midget? You know that? Alright, I was watching that George Bush uh, about three days ago. You know what I love about George? George makes me feel like I could be president too. Despite all of those shortcomings, he just pushed through. You know what I love about him? He can't say the word terror. The guy uses it every speech. He can't say terror. He goes, can't. He goes, America will not stand for tear. Anybody supports tear? You are terrorists? Who gonna get you? What kind of president goes, who gonna get you? Redneck, they dragged on him like a barbecue, put him in a suit. Dude, if you're going home, you should just be standing there with a couple of bloodhounds just going, Go get him, dude! Man, the sheriff, go get him! I'll tell you, you know what I have to realize, though? When you go to war, that's the one time when you really have to, like, appreciate rednecks, though. You know why? Because rednecks are, like, the one group of people that actually, like, want to go to war. No, they're out for it. They, they actually, you know, that's like their Super Bowl. They're, like, making dip and shit. You know what I mean? They really want to go. Everybody else tries to get out of it. Like, rich people never go to war. You ask a college kid if he wants to go to war. It's just like, um, I'm taking the sociology class. I think war is, like, really stupid. My roommate's, like, hack at gangs. It's because of static. <laughs> Now you ask a redneck if he wants to go to war, it's just like, hell fucking yeah! I'm ready to ride now! He just point the direction, buddy! I'm ready to do this shit! No, they're frightening people, but you gotta utilize them. No, you wanna scare the enemy, okay? And rednecks are like America's pit bulls. They should just sedate those people, drop them off in Afghanistan, and just let them run wild. Just be like, dude, just go do anything you ever dreamed of doing. Just go crazy. Have one of your friends play the banjo with a scare the shit out of you. Plus, rednecks will actually save you money, too. Because they show up to the army, and like, here's your M16. They're like, I already got one. <laughs> got some shit in the front you ain't ever seen before, buddy. <laughs> so, anyways, I was, uh... I took the subway over here. I hate taking the subway because I have a very like how do you eat kind of hug me kind of thing. So I was on the train one time, it's a true story, right? Stand on the train, this black guy goes to get on the train, right? And the door's like closed on him. You know that shit happens, like they open and close, like almost like dice up. Look at me, they try to get like there's like 20 people watching and like nobody helps out and I'll stand there like, well no, I think it's gonna cut his arm off. Nobody gives a shit, right? So the conductor starts giving the guy shit as he's stuck in the door. Well, come on, buddy, let's go! <laughs> like, hold people up, let's go! So the dude just flips out. What the fuck are you yelling at me for? He's like, I'm stuck in the door. <laughs> then he makes it racial. He's like, what, no white people ever got stuck in these doors? Because if anyone wouldn't say shit to these crack-ass motherfuckers over here. And it was like me and three other white dudes sitting there. And he just kept coming back to that point. He's arguing. He's going, if anyone say shit to these crack Fourth, crack, motherfucker. We kind of start like looking at 
ridiculous. I can literally feel the heat from his fingers. He's going, I can't the fuck of it. Somebody should do something. But you know what? Nobody did shit. We just sat there and took it. That's what sucks about being white in that situation. There's no unity. There's no brothers when it comes to white people. White people, we are individuals. We do not give a shit about each other. We're like, hey, screw him. Better him than me. As long as I get where I'm going, I don't give a shit. benefit of the doubt, like, he probably came from a rough neighborhood, you know, he's having a bad day, you know he's calling me a cracker, it's not me per se, it's more society as a whole. <laughs> okay, that's funny though, when someone gets racial with you, and you're white, because you're not allowed to get racial back, they can just sit there going, I'll you fucking cracker, <laughs> fucking white boy, <laughs> like you fucking jerk. <laughs> no, you can't get racial, because the second you get racial, then they wheel that podium up. And they have like that press conference, you gotta make that apology on TV, like I, I disgraced the company, I disgraced myself. Um, I just wanted to be known, there was no air conditioning on the subway, I wasn't thinking clearly. I have nothing against Mexicans, I went to Tijuana, I had a great time. Uh. You know what's funny, I was like halfway through this uh, bit and I realized like 90% of the people in there are like white guys in suits. That's probably like your biggest fucking nightmare, isn't it? white people always have to like comment on it and no matter how hard they try to say something nice it always comes off as like something a little fucked up <laughs> and you know what I realized watching that shit it's really difficult for somebody white to say somebody black is intelligent without it coming off like you know like this is like something new to them you know what I mean like I was listening to Dick Denver and he's sitting there going like Venus and Serena they're two very uh, very very bright uh, bright young ladies and you just feel the other two white commentators going like oh dude you're on your own and <laughs> They're like dusting off the podium. And you hear the panic in his voice. He's going, ah, you could uh, sit down with them and uh, discuss a wide variety of topics. Please go to commercial. Somebody go to commercial. Okay, but they kind of be like, uh, if you're doing a crossword puzzle, uh, they can help you out. All right, I'm out of time. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you very much. That's a good thing, everybody. Thank you very much. Girl, ladies and gentlemen, Billy Burr. Yeah, wow, I'm having a good time. I don't know. Yeah, man. <laughs> good old BB, man. Yeah, uh, man, to shed some light on that, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Bill Burr thinks that midgets should be called midgets still. Yeah. That it isn't yeah. derogatory. Yeah, he's still, I guess he's, I mean, I don't know how long ago that was. I mean, it's a good point of view, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, I mean, I, I mean, it was the way that he, he it's a good, it's a good uh, yeah, point of view. You know what I'm saying? He, I still think it's about what they want to be called, I know. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if they want to be called. I wonder if it was changed by midgets. By little people. Did the little person make that decision or did somebody else make that decision? I don't know. Yeah, who gave them? Did they? Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe it was a society. Uh, you know, yeah, so. yeah. Like I said, I've always said that little person makes it seem like you're less than a real person. Like not a real exactly. person, but like a, a normal size human being. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know, but if that's what they want to be called, then that's what they'll you know I'll call. Them. I'm not gonna call them the N word. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, they can pick something better than a little person. Yeah, true. Admit it. True. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what word. <laughs>